Holy shit, guys. So, as most of you probably know, AHK was officially banned, so to speak. Uh, so, you can only use official mouse keys. And holy shit, it is so AIDS to work with. Um, there's a setting in Windows 10 and Windows 8 that Windows 7 didn't have, I don't think, that completely fucks up uh, Windows mouse keys. And it's taken me ages to figure out how to fix it. So... Uh, first thing, I just want to go ahead and thank Persiflage, P-E-R-S-I-F-L-A-G-E-R-S. -E that is his Twitter handle. Go ahead and give him a follow, give him a shout out because he freaking helped me out with this. He was like the only person who knew what was going on. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to give you guys a guide because most of you probably have Windows 10. Uh, and if you don't, this guide still works for Windows 7 as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the very first thing you guys need to do before you do anything else, no matter what OS you're on, again, I don't know if Windows 7 has a setting, but if it does, it needs to be disabled because it ruins uh, mouse keys basically and what they're meant to do for you. So, you're going to go to your control panel. You're going to go to uh, hardware and sound. And you're going to go to your mouse settings. Okay? So, you're going to have your mouse properties here. You're going to go to pointers. Just kidding, you're going to go to pointer options and you're going to go to this motion area. By default, as far as I know, Windows 10 and I'm pretty sure Windows 8 have enhanced pointer precision enabled. This basically lowers your DPI as far as I can tell. Um, that's really all it does. Uh, it's actually kind of weird how that works, but just take that off. Um, if you take that off and you've been using, if it's already checked and you uncheck it, you're going to have to change your DPI. Now, the way you change the DPI is either in Windows itself, so you'll just change this bar, or if you have a third-party uh, mouse program, you can usually change the DPI in there. Like, I could change my DPI up to 12K, uh, but I had to actually turn it down from 4K to 2K in order for my mouse speed to feel right again. So, yeah. Uh, make sure enhanced pointer precision in the mouse properties under pointer options is disabled or else mouse keys will not work for you. So we're going to go ahead and apply that now. Pretty cool. All right, so we are here at the bottom of the computer where you can kind of see like these icons and stuff. Uh, so you can see sticky keys here and mouse keys here. So if you want to turn off sticky keys right now, they're on. You'll just uh, spam shift and then it'll turn off. And that sound will play. And then if you want to turn them back on, um, what you'll do is you'll spam it again. And a dialog box will pop up saying, do you want to turn them on? And you just press yes. And they will now be on again. Uh, so when you're using mouse keys, what you want to do is double tap control. And that will lock in control, which is the function that speeds up the mouse movement, which gives you the jumps which enables you to drop items really fast or to select items really fast or to bank really fast. The next thing that we should go over is the mouse keys section. So on your keypad, if you have one, there are three different settings. So at the top of your keypad, you should have a slash and that slash will enable uh, mouse keys to activate a left click. If you hit the star, it enables mouse keys to activate, well, to use both clicks. As far as I know, this doesn't work, so just completely ignore this. And then the last one is the minus sign. If you click it, it will give you the right click option. And typically, um, it doesn't actually matter if you use the left or right click option. It's kind of up to you. But for RuneScape purposes, it's probably better if you manually left click and you set up mouse keys to right click. Again though, if you want, you can set it up to where mouse keys does the uh, left click and you manually do the right click. So that's all personal preference, uh, it doesn't really matter. But in most cases, you're going to want mouse keys to do the right click and your mouse, your you know, your physical hand to do the left click. The next thing is that if you do not have a keypad, you're gonna wanna get one. Uh, you can remap your keys on a laptop, but I would recommend not doing that and just buying a cheap numeric keypad 
that you can plug into your laptop. Uh, you can find them on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So um, looks like they're on sale now. They saw the uh, AHK Nerf incoming and they're trying to get out as much product as they can. Pretty cool. So just go ahead and buy one of those though if you don't have one for your laptop. If you're using a Mac, sorry, basically. I mean, you could use AHK and mimic Windows mouse keys, but you risk a ban, so I wouldn't recommend it. And as far as I know, OS Buddy's mouse keys aren't actually allowed to be used. So that sucks. Unless we get a word on that, you know, that'll be the case. And you'll have an unfair advantage. So Windows Master Race. Okay, guys. So before we move on anywhere else, um, let me... So I'll show you. So right now my sticky keys are on. I'll double tap control to lock in control. And my mouse keys are also on. And just to mention it again really quickly before we move on, depending on what activity you're doing, you're going to have to manually change your top speed and your acceleration uh, so that you can select items and like menu items properly. Um, there's no way for me to show you guys because it's based on like computer screen size and your client size. And there's just so many different factors. There's no way for me to say, if you want to drop a log, have your settings at this. Um, especially with three sizable now, there's just, there's absolutely no way to do it. So... If you're using mouse keys and you're noticing that it's not jumping far enough, you're basically just gonna slide these two options around until you get it where you need to. And then that's the settings you're gonna use for that specific activity. So right now, if I was to press five, two, and then click, five, two, and click, then I could withdraw. I could click those manually, five, two, and click and I can make my potions, pretty cool. However, if you're using sticky keys and mouse keys, there's a few things you can't do. Well, it's when you use sticky keys. There's a few things you can't do. The first one is you cannot use your mouse wheel to rotate the camera. So within the old OS Buddy setting, or the old school setting, sorry, there's an option to use the middle mouse button to control the camera. And that's if you hold it down, you can't do that. You can scroll, but you can't actually control the camera. That sucks because for skills like prayer, you sometimes need to control the camera. Uh, room crafting as well, you need to control the camera. So that's not a good thing. As far as I know, there's no way to fix that. The second thing is, you can't type to anybody. You can't say anything while sticky keys are on. And that's kind of boring. So the only way for this to work is that you would, basically if you're doing a skill, you'd have to spam the shift button until sticky keys turned off, and then you could type again as you, as you felt the need to. And then you would have to spam it again and click yes to turn it back on. So that's obviously really annoying. If you have no other option, then you kinda have to. However, um, I would recommend that you get a Corsair keyboard I'm not being sponsored by them or anything. The reason I say this is because, and you don't have to get like these expensive, like like I have a $200 keyboard. You don't have to do that. Um, you can just get like a $50 keyboard. A, they're really nice keyboards and I would highly recommend getting them in general. The second reason is, is because Corsair has a feature that allows you to remap keys. So as you can see here, I have remapped my keys and just to interject really quickly, this is allowed. Um, on the news post it says, you may now only use your operating system's official default mouse keys program, which again I am, mouse keys are on. I'm not using any macros within my keyboard software, unless it is to remap a key to any other button. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing. Like if I went into my Corsair feature, um, I can go ahead and add an action, and by default I do have macros, but you know, I can record like a mouse movement, for example. That's not allowed. A remap is allowed, and all that does is change one key to another key, and that's why I'm using it. Um, I have remapped the keypad five, I have remapped the keypad two, and I have remapped the left click button on my mouse. So now, instead of what I would do with mouse keys, is I would press five on the keypad, two on the keypad, um, and then I would press 
left with my mouse. And again, this is all while sticky keys are on. If I didn't want sticky keys on so that I could freely type whenever I felt the need to, or so that I could use my mouse wheel to change the camera direction, what I would have to do is hold down the control button, which is kind of far away from your keypad usually, and then press um, five, two, and then manually left click. So again, that was without sticky keys. That's what I would do is manually have to hold down control. Now, with my Corsair program, I still have to manually hold down control, but I have a lot more flexibility because I have these G keys over here which remap all of my clicks. So basically what this does is I will hold down control with my thumb and I'll have my pointer finger, my middle finger, and my ring finger resting on G13, G14, and G15. And I'll be able to basically mimic mouse keys. So if I go over to here and turn off my sticky keys, I still have my mouse keys on because you still do need mouse keys for this to work, obviously. Um, but what I'll be able to do is if I go to the bank really quickly, I'm not sure why I walked away from it. So if I go to the bank really quickly, right now I'm holding down control with my thumb and I have all my fingers on the G15, G14, and G13. And I can very quickly withdraw. I can press escape. Escape is a feature within old school. Um, if you go here, you can choose escape closes current interface. And then I can just go ahead and again, hold down control, manually do that. And then G15, G14, and G13 to start making potions. And it is super nice because it is essentially what AHK used to do. The only difference is I now have mouse keys activated, but I, the, the, the good thing is that I don't have sticky keys activated, which makes it so that you can't actually interact with your chat, which sometimes is pretty freaking just, it's just kind of, just, it's not fun. It doesn't make the game fun. The other thing is if you have a laptop, um, what you can do is you can buy a keypad so they're pretty cheap. There's like one here for $9 and that'll enable you to be able to uh, use mouse keys as you would on like a desktop computer. So that's been pretty much that. Again, uh, you can use it without a Corsair keyboard. I'm not sure if any other keyboards actually allow you to remap keys properly. So I actually tried to make an AHK script to remap keys. But the issue is that if you have mouse keys on, and you remap keys with AHK, they don't work together in a very good way. So basically like they'll work, but they won't scroll. Um, so it kind of like completely defeats the purpose. So no, you cannot remap mouse keys with AHK. It just doesn't work. So for the end of the video, I just kind of want to wrap up what we're getting at. So basically since AHK is banned, you now have to use mouse keys from Windows. You can either use mouse keys and sticky keys, but if you do that, you're not gonna be able to talk in your chat and you're not gonna be able to use mouse wheel to move your camera unless you wanna spam shift and turn on and off sticky keys all the time. Number two, you can use mouse keys and you can manually hold down the control, uh, the control button near your number pad, but you have to stretch your hand quite a bit to do that. Um, but at the same time, you can freely talk and move your camera angle but then again, if you're going to go and type in chat, you have to move your hands or your hand over to where the keys are to type. So it's just kind of like really inconvenient. The most convenient way you can do this is to buy a Corsair K95 with 18 G keys. The reason I say that is because that is the keyboard I have, which is like 100 and maybe 70 or $80. But because of the way that the G keys are set up, um, it just makes it a lot more easier to work with. You can buy a cheaper Corsair keyboard. But what you'll probably have to do is remap um, either like some of the, the keys that are on the very top, like the number keys at the very top, or some of your letter keys are going to have to be remapped, which kind of does limit you to what you can type. Um, but with like the K95, you have 18 G keys and you have like rows of three. So it's like really freaking easy to rest your hand there. You still have to hold down control manually. But again, it's right next to those keys. You still have to use mouse keys, of course but you could freely talk in chat. Your hand is right next to the keyboard, so it's easy to do that. You can also freely change the camera angle with the mouse wheel, 
And again, it's just so much more comfortable. Another pro to this is that you can also remap whichever mouse button, mouse keys isn't already controlling. So at the beginning of the video, we talked about how you can decide whether you want mouse keys to control the left click or the right click and how that's personal preference. Well, technically, if you're using a Corsair keyboard with their uh, software, you can remap both of those clicks. Obviously, one of them is automatically going to be within mouse keys, so you just remap the keypad, the the num the number keypad to that key. But at the same time, you can remap the other actual mouse button to another G key. So that's been this video. Hope you guys did help you out. Um, if you guys really enjoy using AHK and that was kind of like your thing with RuneScape, you may have to invest in a Corsair keyboard and in specific a K95 if you use AHK a lot or at least you used to uh, because that's what's going to be more comfortable to you. If you don't mind spending like $50 and just not being able to use like your Z and X and your C for example, um, then that might be an easy setup for you. But again, it's all just kind of personal preference. So again, hope this video did help you guys out. Any questions, leave them below. Again, if you have any third-party programs that you can download like AHK that properly work when remap, remap mapping mouse key number keys, then please let me know in the bottom. I'll check it out. I'll test it out. And if it works, I'll update everybody in this video. Also, if you have a keyboard other than Corsair that comes with software that enables you to remap keys in the same fashion to where it does everything mouse keys is supposed to, again, let me know. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.